Hello and welcome to Open Engineering Questions and Answers, Episode 3. In today's episode, I'm going to answer to a question from one of the subscribers, which is how to model U-stairs, or as he called them, dog leg shape stairs in our plan using the dedicated functions. We have a dedicated model to model this kind of stairs and you will see a very practical workflow that starts from a DWG that originates from Architect. WG can be 2D, but our final product will be a 3D model of it that follows accurately what the architect has planned. So let's see how we do it. So First of all, we'll have to import the DWG. And before we import an AutoCAD file, we need to have a look at it and see which drawing unit have been used and what is the scale of this drawing. You can see here that this is a 1 by 50 drawing. And in order to determine the drawing units used, I will have to measure something that uh, is uh, on the plan. So I will choose a dimension and hit measure with the free viewer provided by Autodesk. And we see that we have 7000. And on the note, we have here on the dimension line 3500. It means that the drawing unit was millimeters. However, I should apply a factor of 0 0.5 before importing it. So that was you know, all the information that I needed from the DWG, meaning the scale and the drawing unit. I'll close this for now. I will choose File, Import, AutoCAD Data. I will select the file now and go to this gear so I can input what I need. I will import using a favorite, so I want the model space to a drawing of our plan with all its layers. The transfer will be 2D and the drawing unit is millimeter as we've measured. The layout scale is 50 and I want to see it also at 1 to 50. There's only one thing left to do, which is to change the resizing factor. I need to apply a 0.5 resizing factor to get an accurate import. And I will hit now open. I'll hit OK. And here is the result. We see that the stair has the same dimensions and I can also check it. Now I work in meters, so I expect this to be 3.5 meter, meter, meters and everything checks out. Next thing we're going to do is to make this DWG as a reference drawing. So I'll double click, open the building structure, make this as a passive drawing or reference mode. And I will select this open this drawing and I will start drawing now the stair. So we see here a plan view. So we'll have to go to the architecture module and here we choose the stair module and here we have the U type stair or dog leg stair. We'll hit one click and we have to follow the instructions. So we need to input the first point of inner or outer stringer from the bottom. So it means that I have to start from this point. I'll get until this area, then continue to this point, this point. So I'll just follow the outline of the required staircase. Also here I'll make sure that I meet this intersection. And I see here a preview of the way we will climb the stairs. And we go here to height and we'll have to input this setting. So we start from zero and we get to plus five meters and we're going to use initially 28 stairs. So I will just hit here. OK. OK. And we see a preview of the stair. We see that we have a good overlap and we need to change just a few set settings. We'll go here to landing type and I will choose a proper landing type. So I want to have type number one. So this has the same elevation as the intermediate slab. I'll hit OK and now the preview is correctly. Also we have a 29th stair. So I can just add it here for steps above. I'll just add here 15. So I get an extra step. What we see in the preview in the 3D is just the finishes. So in order to have a 3D geometry we'll have to go to this stair components and properties. 
And in this area, I'm going to use uh, geometry and I will need a central carriage. I'll go in this area, central carriage. And here, I'll have to input the properties of this central carriage. The dimension in this situation is quite thick, it's 23 centimeters. So I will choose this dimension and say 0.23. I'll hit OK now and complete with some others. So I would also like some inner handrail. And for this, I will provide an inner user defined. And we can see here a preview of the staircase. We also have finishes, which I personally don't want on my structural plan. So I can go here to stair thread. And here we can just change here some settings and also we can deactivate it. So we'll only preview the structural part. We hit close. Yes. And we have here now also a description of the stairs which matches the requirements. These stairs may look nice. They are far from perfect. If we have a look here, we have a very sharp corner that we need to remove. So in order to do that, we'll have to convert this stair into a 3D model. We can do that by going here to bonus tools, 3D modeling, and we have convert elements and I will convert architecture to 3D solid and select everything. And now I can do some changes here. I'll go in an isometric view and I would like to uh, create a detail that is similar to this one. So I don't want that sharp edge, but rather I'll just uh, need to finish everything at uh, after 45 centimeters. So in this uh, view, I can just create here a box which can go from this point downward 45 millimeters. And I will use this box to know where I should trim the staircase, or actually this box will be part. As you see here in this detail, here we usually end with a beam that has a stirrup and ensures enough capacity to get all the stress concentrators in this corner. So basically I will just use this to uh, unite this box with the 3D replica of the stairs. To do that, I'll use union, select this one and this one. So I'll also insert the slab using a box. I can start now with a box. I'll go here, one meter. And in the other direction, I'll just say 0.3 and then reposition the object. Again, I can apply that concrete texture quite easily, so we get the same representation. So same idea can be applied at this ending as well. I can just rotate it as I see fit. And I can complete this with a second box by using the box function and extend it to this point and then use union to unite these two objects together. And of course, assign the same material so it looks good also in the 3D. And go now to delta Z minus 0.3. And we can apply this to any model where we have an architectural proposal in 2D, in DWG or PDF can work the same as long as uh, all the dimensions and elevation points are correct. I do hope you enjoyed my movie and found some valuable information that you can apply on your day-to-day -day project. Also, if you want to get more movies with tips and tricks in all plan, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and also if you are interested in participating in a full uh, training, we have a link here. Uh, for the moment, I have no special offers, but you can still request this training and when special offer occurs, you'll get notified. Thanks for watching 
and stay tuned for our next episode where we'll reinforce these stairs. Goodbye for now.